from school. Actor Kirk Cameron has a new film hitting theaters next week. Once again, it's centering on faith in America. Mr. Cameron now joins us live from Los Angeles to tell us about his latest work, Revive Us, that chronicles his trek across the country. Hi, Kirk, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Is this Amy? Yes, it is. We hear that you have Hi, a Amy. big film hitting theaters this week. Tell us a little bit about how it chronicles your life. Well, it's, it's not a film. This is a live interactive event that is in movie theaters across America on October 18th. Uh, I visit churches all across the country. Uh, all year long, and I hear moms and dads always talking about how concerned they are about their children's future, about the direction that our nation is taking. And uh, while some people are getting discouraged, I'm saying this is the most exciting time to be a Christian, to be a person of faith in God here in America. This could be our finest hour. And so I'm gathering my smartest, wisest, most faithful friends, and together we're calling for a, a, an interactive, live, national family meeting so that we can meet in theaters, we can worship together, we can pray together and learn how to transform our nation from the inside out and the bottom all the way up to the top. It's called Revive Us. Now you say that this is interactive and this is really something that you want families and communities to be able to come together to discuss. How important is the role of family in your life? Family is hugely important. It's the DNA building blocks of all of society, of our communities, our churches, our nation. In fact, my wife and I have been married for 25 years. We have six kids. And so uh, our family is really a, a, a little part of a much larger family of faith. And that's who we're calling together on October 18th for Revive Us. Because when the family gets together all over the nation and the Spirit of God is moving, great things happen for everybody and those things are unstoppable. That's what gives me hope, that's what refreshes my spirit and revives my heart and I want to share it with everybody that I can. Now we understand your wife is from Western New York. What part is she from? She, she's from Cheektowaga. Oh, very nice. So is Western New that's York... That's right. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Love Cheektowaga, the land of the crab apples, uh, but friendly people very friendly people and I'm sure that's also a huge part of your mission as well is people being um, friendly and giving and and teaching these things to the youth of our country as well is that right when we turn on the news it's easy to get discouraged but again this can be the finest hour for people of faith when you love God and you love your neighbor and you begin to put those principles into practice in your own home in your own community and work your, yourself work that all the way out to the edges great things happen for everybody and that's what we need more than anything right now that's what we're going to be talking about in an interactive way we're going to sing together worship together even answer questions from the theaters uh, live on October 18th as part of the revive us family meeting and how did this become such a passion of yours in your life? Well, like I said, I've got six kids and I, I want to leave them with a great future. And it's all of our responsibility to be a part of that. Some people tend to get discouraged by what they see out there and they uh, maybe feel discouraged to the point of apathy and they're stewing in their juices on the sidelines complaining about what's going on rather than engaging lift up your head know where your hope comes from lean in double down and be uh, an active participant in shaping the future that's what we're going to do at revive us and provide you with the inspiration and the hope that you need to do a great job for your kids Kirk Cameron with his new interactive event called Revive Us. Thank you so much for your time.